France's President Emmanuel Macron has lost an absolute majority in parliamentary elections. That's according to early estimates. Projections started coming in soon after the polls closed. As counting continues across the country, early results show Macron's allies still emerging as the biggest party in the new National Assembly. But without the needed absolute majority of 289 seats, the French President is expected to face challenges in pushing his reform agenda forward. His main rivals, a new left-wing alliance led by Jean-Luc Mélenchon, fell short of 200 seats, according to early estimates. Well, let's get more on this from DW's Lisa Lewis, who is in Paris for us. So what does, all, what does this uh, loss of the absolute majority now mean for Macron, Lisa? Well, Emmanuel Macron will have to change his policies, really. It is quite certain that certain of uh, certain reforms that he's planning, such as, for example, pushing up the retirement age from 62 to 64 or 65, will be very difficult to get through Parliament. He will have to compose with other forces on the left and on the right. And if he wants to form a stable alliance with other parties in Parliament, that could even mean that he will have to, he would have to uh, proceed to a reshuffle of his government at least a partial reshuffle to build another stable group in Parliament. What is for sure, though, is that the governing road will be re very rocky for Emmanuel Macron in the coming five years. So what kind of compromises would he have to make in order to execute his reform plan? Well, it, what is for sure is that the voters tonight, today actually, they have shown that they want him to carry out more ecological measures put in place, more social measures, you know, take measures to help those that are struggling to make ends meet. That is really what the NUP, the left-wing alliance under far-left leader Jean-Luc Mélenchon, has put in uh, their platform. Uh, they want, you know, they want to help those that are struggling really here in France and voters here, even though many of those that I have been talking to over the Day, they told me we don't necessarily want the far left or the left wing lines to win a majority in parliament, but we want to show the government, the president, that they can't just keep on carrying out more market liberate, market orientated reforms here in France for the coming five years. They need to take into account our opinions or otherwise face more protests such you know the yellow vest protests that disrupted France for years for, for months and months on end uh, during the far past five years in power of Emmanuel Macron. And you mentioned the left did put up quite a tough challenge this time just talk us through that and how they performed. Well, the left was really trying to gather support, you know, against uh, Emmanuel Macron's market-orientated strategy. They were saying, you know, he really uh, does not have any consideration uh, for those really that are struggling every day, for workers uh, that are trying to, you know, gather everything, you know, money to actually make ends meet. But if you look at, when you look at the result tonight, there's also something else that is really striking, and that is that the far right has gained a lot lot of seeds. It is predicted to actually have, you know, uh, obtained between 70 and 100 seats in Parliament, up from eight seats during the last legislative elections five years ago. That, so that is quite significant, really. Macron is under pressure from the left and from the right. TW's Lisa Lewis in Paris. Thank you so much, Lisa.